folks, um, I guess, I mean, you were here at the press conference and listened to what they had to say. Um, where are you at right now? This has got to be unbelievable for your family. Absolutely. Devastated. My daughter didn't deserve this. You know, we just want answers right now. We just want answers as to why. Why would you do this? Because her and him had a bond. Like, they, they were friends. And she, so we thought. Yeah. She worked for him, right? They did. She worked for yeah, him. She did. But she also hung out with his family, like his granddaughter was her friend, and we went places with them, me and him, and her and him, and family, like everybody went together. For a long time. You guys yeah. were family friends. Yeah. In the last five months, had you talked to him about her at all, or did you see them at all? No, he ran his house every time I tried to talk to him. Well, at first, actually the first um, week or so, I think it was the first week, right after we hung flyers. It was day two we went out and hung flyers and as soon as we come home they were there and they kept coming over you know asking me if I was okay and telling us oh I'm sure she's fine she'll be back home I left at 17 that's what his wife kept telling me I left at 17 and I said yeah but that was different you left and got married your mom knew where you were you didn't just vanish did you know in your mother's heart this is not her running away that yeah. this is something well, is my child I think I hoped so I hung on to that I wanted to believe that she did, but I didn't. I was reading on Facebook some commentary that you folks had made about you were concerned at one point, though, that he had a tracker on her phone. Was that part of work? She come home and told me that. She said something about um, he had placed her on his 360 plan. I didn't even know what that was. And she explained it to me, and I was like, why? I'm like, why are you on that? She said, I don't know. He just added me on it with his family because they're all on it. And I said, well, but you're not his kids or his wife or anything. He has no reason to even be tracking them as far as I'm concerned. I wouldn't track my family. It's not normal to me. And did he used to call and say, hey, she's here, she's here, Dad, or she's... Yeah, she's like, go visit boys. She didn't know on the Internet. She was back and I tried to get her to stop doing that because it's dangerous. And it didn't work. <laughs> Come to find out it was the boss, not the boys. Did he ever help? search for her? No. 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 All they did was come to our yard and talk to us for hours to know they're talking to us. His wife did admit that she drove around Shelbyville. Yeah. She drove around and, looking. And looking for her. But. And she offered to print out a, like um, flyer. Like the next day we maps. found out today we had something to do with it. And is it true that you at one time after Val Valerie disappeared, you saw him taking down his shed in the middle of the night? And I did not. My son-in-law and my daughter witnessed him doing that at 2 a.m. And, and neighbors. I had somebody else verify it was 2 a.m. And I said, how do you know that? And she said, I video recorded it. Mm -hmm. And, and is it also true that somebody, a family friend, heard him say to her, hey, we're going to meet for lunch or we're going to go for lunch on that, that day? That was a girl who lived at the apartments that he worked at. They were there working that Wednesday, which he didn't work on Wednesdays. When I come home from work, I said, she doesn't work Wednesdays. And he said, yeah, I know. So we just kind of assumed she told a little white lie and went to see a friend or a boy or something like that, like teenage kids do. Well. Later, I called him because she was supposedly at work, and he says, no, she didn't work. Well, later we find out from multiple people that, you know, that's not the case. His story kept changing, that he went from not seeing her from the day before to he had seen her that day to she had actually worked, and I found that out from the girl that worked at the apartment. Her mother actually reached out to me. She's 20 years old, and... She had two kids, and she told her mom, apparently, to fight her mom, because I'm sure she didn't know what to do as a 20-year-old kid. So, after her mom had given me the information, I went and immediately emailed Smallwood, which was the lead detective, and let him know. Of course, it's the holiday, so he wasn't in. To know that she was found practically in your own backyard, I mean, it's devastating. Do you know how hard that was for me? Yeah, mind blowing. I want to go over there so bad. So much. Every day. How are you still standing up? I do not know. It ain't easy. I've been up all night. Crying. Went to the hospital crying. Is she your oldest? Or no, me? she's my middle. Middle child. How would you describe her? <laughs> so sweet and smart. Funny. Funny. Very intelligent. She, and she, I saw something you said she was getting her grades up. She was. She was. She went from failing. 
to uh, getting A's and B's. I was so proud of her, but I never got to tell her she that. She even got a couple of acceptance letters from college. She was applying to college. Do you know what she wanted to do? What she, Pet she, she wanted to be a vet. Yeah, she loved animals. And her schoolwork and her folder proved that. She had all kinds of paperwork filled out from schooling where she was studying animals. Was it hard to hear? I mean, the, the authorities are standing up here and they're they're offering their sympathies, and yet they're not. They can't say. And I mean, do you, I they, understand on their behalf. I really do. They have guidelines, just like we do when we go to work. You know, if I go to work and I don't put on my safety glasses, I get written up. Stuff like that. They have the same things to follow. So I try to be understanding of that. Yes, as a mother, I would have wanted answers within the first week, but logically, it's not possible. But you. I mean, you know in your parents' heart that this is all right. Do you believe this? I can't see it being anybody else. It just, well, she like you said, she would have read out. There's no media. <laughs> Nothing. The car was parked at where his work, and she's not a very quiet person. She loves the dog, she loves social media. She loved TikTok. that car. <laughs> she loved TikTok. She loved to do those with her sisters all the time. <laughs> The fact that she hadn't reached out to her best friend or her sisters or anybody that just told me that something was definitely wrong. That's not, she didn't run away. I didn't believe that for one minute really in my heart, but I wanted to, so. Is the, I mean, it's been six months probably of not sleeping for you guys, heart probably not eating It got well. worse the farther it went into it, especially after her 18th birthday. Can you keep the bat, She missed her sister's graduation. And she, didn't, she knew that was going to happen. I thought, well, I can't see Valerie doing that. And then her 18th birthday rolled around. We thought for sure she'd be home when she turns 18. No. And that just, it just took everything down. When was her birthday? August 29th. And she was going to be a senior this year. Yep. She was her last year of school. At where Rushville? Or yeah, August? I got even more upset because there was no reason to hide. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. We kept saying like, if she's out there and she ran away, why don't she come home or, or at least like call her sister? It wasn't Tell that she something. wouldn't. She wouldn't do something. I mean, no. that wouldn't be like her. No. Yeah. And so now the the move turns towards, I guess, justice. I mean, right there. Yeah, absolutely. People talk about closure and tragedy, but there, there is isn't. none. Yeah. There's going to be a hole there forever. There was a hole there when we thought she was out there somewhere. There was a hole and it's never going to be filled. <laughs> it's like half your family's gone. <laughs> Anything else that you guys want to say? Dad? <laughs> I don't know how somebody could do anything like this. The man's a monster. And his Absolutely. wife needs to be prosecuted with her. Absolutely. She knew everything about it too, I'm sure. His uh, son, we was told, was told to go clean his car when he turned himself in the first time. So, mm. I honestly believe his whole family knew. When you, when you heard, when he was charged with false informing or not given the right story, did you guys say to yourself, that, and then especially like, wait, why is he not oh, yeah. saying? Why is his story then changing? Bells started going off, yeah. Even before then, Definitely. there was just a lot of things just started popping up. Like she would, like I said, multiple times tell me I was 17 when I left. I was like, why does she keep saying that? And she had to point out the fact that Pat was coming home as far as he was leaving. They must have crossed paths. I'm like, why tell me that? And like, there was a lot of things just didn't add up to me. Just you can tell she's hiding for him. Mm -hmm. So will you guys be in court every time that he's there? That kind of thing. We can, yeah. yeah. We're so sorry. Thank you. We're so sorry. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you. You're Thank you. God bless you. <laughs>